client safety issue, uh, I should take official recognition or something. I'd like to know that the law, federal law, creates that for We'd be happy to brief that for you, Your Honor, or... Well, the motion in limine, we first brought this up, spells out the citation to the Pipeline Safety Act. It's... All right. That's a good... Uh, and that's because it's uh, it's so clear that I've excluded it, and you're right. Your your right to show error is so clear without an exhibit. Thank you. Your Honor, we're finished. Okay. Um, what did you? We have any comments to the rebuttal? I'm making new issues that were raised uh, consistently. Uh, your honors know that it would be limited uh, for the sake of due process uh, only that which was uh, not raised in the uh, prior to the rebuttal. This was not raised prior to the rebuttal. So now I know what, what was new. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, I tried to be alert to what I thought might be a new area, and uh, I didn't hear anything. So you need to help me understand what you believe. Well, for the first time we heard um, was there a geologist previously that spoke about from your side that actually spoke about the karst terrain and the sites before Mr. Jones? Oh, 15,000 pages of the application. Well, what Mr. Jones did, what I was, I mean, he, he, he stated in the parameters that I was trying to define for this ruling, which is that if, if, uh, if someone had produced uh, documents for that became part of the permanent record or part of this proclamation case simply took the stand to explain what they had produced and explain you know what they said that would that would simply be part of the prime vision case uh, which you're already aware of and if any of it needs to be rebutted you your opportunity has already been provided so this would, this would be, as I, another way of describing it was, new support to demonstrate reasonable assurances beyond what was already provided in the program. So something new uh, to demonstrate support for issuance of a permit. And I didn't hear anything that sounded like it was some new concept, not previously uh, shown to the department, to justify the issues of the problem. You did speak of the problem with the caves, and I don't believe that the challenges previously had spoken about that. So, so until we suggested that that red line was a cave, that it was uh, it never really established that there was uh, a cavern along those red lines. It was the first witness to affirm that on the rebuttal. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I'll talk about that case system. I don't think that's true. Um, the only way to really pin it down is to like, try to pull out um, what was previously presented. There was there was uh, there was allusion to uh, I think the sec uh, what was described as the August memo from the. Water Geological Survey, which I think they said might have addressed it. There were some other allusions to it being addressed. Mm -hmm. If you want to pin it down, you have to like pull it out of the, uh, the application file, the permits file, or you can you, or you can just go ahead and allow the testimony. Which way would you like to go? Yeah, they come up on their cross. The, the point being, Your Honor, that counsel argues that Donald, the testimony with regard to Donald Cave is new. I don't think that it is, but to the extent it is, it was brought up on their cross-examination of our witness, not on our direct. I mean, Judge, they... I don't think oh. that matters. They all... If it's true rebuttal, 
you always have the, the, the opportunity to put your own person on it um, and not rely only on the answers you were able to get in cross-examination. But what I'm, 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 I believe it was part of the case presented, but, but the only question, the question in my mind was because there was an allusion to it being addressed, but I don't know what the, that's a huge file. We, we do two ways to do, deal with it. Uh, you can uh, show me that it's discussed in the uh, material somewhere. Just pull it out, show up like Mr. Jones documentation or uh, Florida Geological Survey when you're discussing it. And uh, then I will be confident that to uh, recall all the evidence. Okay. Or, or you can just let them let it proceed and take your shot, whatever you want to do. Oh, I hope we just have a few minutes, Your Honor, and let's let yes. you say a little bit of your Honor, the um, hold on. So on the record, on the record, we should uh, clarify before we go off for a break. Uh, what is it that you're exactly you're, you're saying? You think is new? Whether found the cave was addressed, considered and addressed. Is that what you're saying? considered and addressed in relation to the pipeline, as well as um, uh, Mr. Jones also said that he believed that there is no water flow beneath the surface or beneath the bottom of the river. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, I guess, I mean, the easy to say, instead of going through the full application, if it, if it turns to our prima facie case, then Sable Trail Exhibit 19, which was admitted, in our premium patient case specifically has the Palm Island Cathedral cave system marked on it. Well, in bright purple. It shows the crossing, shows the, the crossing of the pipeline uh, on that, that depiction. All right, the testimony went along these lines. It said uh, that there's no danger to the Palm cave system because of the, uh, Pipeline will be at shallow depth, and the uh, caves are at, at great, much greater depth, 100 feet, approximately 100 feet. If that n did not appear in the filings before, so that for the first time that separation was made a part of the support for your case, then they would have the right to, uh, in, you know, get into that kind of thing. One second, Your Honor. Let me add, Your Honor, that also uh, Mr. Jones, I believe, was introduced a different type of grouting aside from the concrete-like routing that had not been referenced before. He spoke in terms of um, that the, you know, the the spring flow, if, if it were grounded, uh, because these springs are so wide, would find its way around it. I believe our rebuttal witness uh, is a, has a contrary opinion. Uh, and that was substantially addressed in the, uh, I think it was the second RAI response where we specifically address the, the, those issues, which is in the application. First of all, to clarify, that, that testimony was about the re effect on regional flow, regional ground regional. flow, and the, and the answer was that um, it would have no effect on regional flow because that's too large and the whole system is porous enough to simply make, you know, on a regional level, you wouldn't see it. Are you saying that uh, you get to address that? But, uh, no, I stood correct on the regional flow. I'm, I'm, um, I'm still on, on the on the case. You said that the sinkhole activity would require fill in this cave area. Because that is correct, it is on Exhibit 19, but when we try to refer to it on the easel exhibit, we um, were faced with objections that that was, um, I believe, drawn on. We, we faced objections over that, and we had to avoid it. Yet we were able to refer to it. Because uh, Mr. Jones had the, with the superior knowledge, was able to articulate it, and uh, with that, we'd like our rebuttal re, uh, re witness to reply with regard uh, uh, to the file model, the cathedral cave system. His position is he couldn't have a witness that was expert enough to talk about it, but he gets a, re a reply to the fact that we had a witness who was confident to give testimony. Exactly, and it came in therefore and after the. <laughs> there was no on your bottom. Well, he's got Mr. Price. That must be who you're talking about. We have Mr. Price here. Yes, sir. Yeah. He's confident. Uh, yeah. But 
again, I, you know, I'm trying to remember. Let's not be general. Uh, we have to nail this down. I'm, I think the only thing I've heard you articulate so far is this concept that uh, about the sep I all remember is the concept of the separation, which I can see where maybe that was not presented in the, the proclamation case. Your Honor, I, I don't know if any other aspect of the testimony that is new because it involved Falmouth. They know about Falmouth. It's mentioned in the documents. It's identified in the exhibits. Your Honor, I don't, I don't know. Foul mouth or is it Falmouth? I mean, Your Honor, I mean, it may or may not be in the application. I just think it will take too long to do it. So we won't object to, to taking testimony on the vertical separate, you know, the vertical location of Falmouth Cave at the point of the crossing. Very narrowly. Okay, I'll give you one last chance to articulate it again because I don't understand it. I'm not agreeing to it yet. There's something about um, rally associated with it. What are you saying is new? It's hard to grout the cave. We know that. Okay. Well, that is it's harder. There's more space to fill. No, that's just physics. Uh, that's what we want to, Mr. Price, to respond to. That in fact, it is much harder than uh, Mr. Jones uh, suggested it was. I suggested it may be in, in, and if possible, the, uh, that the, uh, what he considered catastrophic single activity, uh, I believe is our problem. Um, he was the first, Mr. Jones, if it wasn't, forgive me if it wasn't, Mr. Jones, was the first to define catastrophic as in terms of the uh, area and the amount of damage or I think uh, catastrophic was used prior in a different content that it was uh, referred to sudden rather than long term. So I thought there was a new use of the term catastrophic. I would reply based on a term. I mean, the, the presence of sinkholes and the effects of sinkholes and the mitigation related sinkholes is what we've been talking about for, for days now, and, and all based on application material. And Mr. Jones himself said it was just a matter of degree. Right. He just said it's a matter of degree. You know, there's smaller ones and there's really big, big the, ones. The uh, concern, if I may one last time attempt to it, is that the, the filling foul mouth would, would block the spring flow. And I don't think that was represented by Mr. Jones. In fact, it just sounded like the risks were minimized, and we'd like the court to have a, a yeah, I don't question. think Mr. Jones said anything about filling problems. Okay. Yeah. No, because of the no. distance. No, exactly. but, but we believe that that is a, a uh, very foreseeable risk, that there will be sinkholes in the proximity. Well, that's in, that's been established over the last two years. It's, it's well established. It's well dressed. Uh, your witness could have gone on and on about it, and he basically did. Uh, so, <laughs> rebuttal is not, uh, I said this once before, and I'm going to say it again. <laughs> That's not rebuttal. Uh, nor is it, I could have said this, but I forgot. Rebuttal is something new came up, and here's our first chance to rebut. So I'm, I only see one issue so far that you've got me to understand, and I'll allow some testimony on that. Are you going to call Mr. Price for that? Um, I would also like to address the dye test. Is that also addressed? Can you show where that was addressed before? Can I? You addressed it in your direct testimony. Yeah. We were simply yeah. rebutting your references to the dye test, right. so we simply had Mr. Jones explain Right. What weight dye tracing should, you know, dye testing should have as to get the Which Okay, Mr. Price. Mr. Price, will take a stand, please, and then under oath. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me here. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 The idea of the, there's no, we're not doing that much effect to the cave system because there's a large separation, vertical separation between the pipe and the cave system. Okay. Thank you. Just move that
on the giant map up there. <coughs> there, is it? Mr. Price, do you believe that there could be a significant risk to the Falmouth Keys system? Am I on the road still? Yes. <laughs> I believe that the characterization of there being 100 feet of sediment on top of the cave system uh, probably isn't true based on some elevation that you see here, and that uh, the sands and clays don't, ex you know, probably extend down 60 or 70 feet, which makes it somewhat easy to, you know, those are all in. Yeah, I, I think that there are sinkholes already occurring on that trace, and Falmouth itself is a sinkhole. Limestone exposed, I've been there many times, there's limestone exposed in that sinkhole. So that, sink, that limestone is not 100 feet down from the surrounding elevations. And uh, so the closer that limestone is to the surface, the easier it is to have a sinkhole occur. And there are many, many stormwater ponds that are only dug four, five, six, seven feet deep that cause changes to occur and sinkholes to occur. And if one did fall in, if it did, I'm not saying it would, but if it did fall into that cavern system, their karst mitigation plan couldn't uh, readily resolve that problem. If, there, if their solution is that you're, you're pumping grout into that cavern, because you know, that cavern's been dough before, so it's fairly large and extensive, the grout would essentially plug that conduit system. It is the main conduit system, and it would block the flow. And yes, it would go out into the surrounding limestone and find its way, but it'd be very slow, so the actual flow to the spring could definitely slow down because of the blockage of that magnitude. Because the only way to actually stop the sinkhole from widening and widening and widening is to, is to make sure that the limestone cavern is filled all the way to the very top of it, so there's no more room for anything to fall in. So that's my short answer to that question. With the narrow limits I've been given, but it's about all I can ask. So thank you. Sorry. Any thoughts? <coughs> Nothing, Your Honor. I'm pleased that guy did. Thank you, sir.